Hello 4 or 5th members, YouTube members. I haven't done a video for a while. I've been pretty busy with a couple jobs that I have right now. But uh, one of my friends wanted me to make him a chocolate mold uh, for him. So I ordered this new food safe silicone from a company based out of California. I don't have the name off the top of my head, but I'll post a link at the end of the video. Uh, but I kind of wanted to make a small mold, just kind of test it since I haven't really worked with that type of silicone before. Normally I just use the regular Rebound 25 for my other prop building stuff. I don't really, any of my other videos that I've made something out of chocolate with, uh, it was Rebound 25 or other silicones. I don't really eat the chocolate or sell it. I was just using that as an example. Uh, you always want to make sure you use a food safe type silicone whenever you're working with chocolate or jello, anything like that. But I wanted to make a small mold out of uh, Todd McFarlane, his action figures, they had this promotion going on for their 10 year anniversary series collection. And when you bought, I think it was like five different models that he made where uh, each action figure you buy, it comes with a different piece uh, for this legendary symbol that it goes together. Each piece is like one piece was the alien head, one was a sword, one was half of the shield. Uh, but that was a promotions run where you buy all the action figures and you get it eventually vi builds this legendary symbol. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a chocolate mold out of this uh, just for shits and giggles. Uh, since it's small enough, I have enough silicone afterwards for my friend's mold that I'm making him. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to make a chocolate mold out of this. So we'll see how that goes. Um, should be pretty interesting. I'm, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is these swords at the side. They're so skinny that chocolate doesn't really do well when it's that skinny inside of a mold because it's so it'd be so brittle that it'd break. But I think I have an idea work uh, work around that to make it work. But yeah, it should be a uh, should be interesting. I've got the legendary crest or shield or whatever you want to call it disassembled. I put the uh, back of the shield part uh, just on a piece of sculpty clay. I don't know if you can see the clay very well, it's kind of hard, but I actually covered up the little holes on the back of the crest too with the clay because I'm going to use uh, chocolate uh, bars, well like little chocolate poles to attach the swords and then the alien skull to it. Then I just created this box out of tin foil around the clay then I just used regular glue gun around the edges to seal it up didn't really do anything fancy for this because it's a really small piece so I don't really care how good the box is then I got the swords in here what I actually did is underneath I put clay underneath it because the sword is so thin that to make it out of chocolate it would just it break as soon as you take it out of the mold so I just put both these pieces on clay, then I use exacto and I have to cut around it. I didn't do the box mold yet for the alien skull, uh, just because it's going to take a lot more of my silicone. And I want to see how these two pieces turn out before I do this guy. But uh, what I'm going to be using is, it's a product uh, from a gentleman called MPK Enterprises. It's called Medium 122 Base. It's a 10 by 1 mix ratio silicone this is actually FDA approved so this is made for chocolate molding uh, candy molding sugar it's actually FDA approved some of my other videos I just use regular silicone uh, from it was like rebound 25 from smooth on I did not sell or give any of that chocolate away I was just using that as an experiment so this stuff is actually FDA approved and it's cheaper than smooth on smooth on's website I got this from uh, www.moldmakingsilicone.com it's California based uh, I'm in Arizona so it got here really really fast got here in like two days um, this is about a four pound kit and it was like forty seven dollars where smooth on's one pound kit was I think like thirty seven uh, would have been more expensive uh, and I would have got less quantity with smooth on and this is has the same specs as all the smooth on stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this I pre-measured it's pretty easy. I just put uh, 10 tablespoons and for the white mixture and then the blue catalyst is just going to be one tablespoon. So it's going to be real easy to mix, real easy to pour. I lost my tripod so I'm going to put the camera down while I mix this stuff up. 
all three mold pieces now have the silicone filled in them. The only downside to this uh, product is that it takes 24 hours to fully cure. So uh, they do offer different uh, curing agents. I didn't realize once I went uh, on their website, they offer three different types. One that takes 30 minutes to set, one that takes uh, three to six hours to set, and one that takes 24 hours to set. This was a kit I ordered and I didn't realize in the kit it came with the 24 hour curing agent. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, demold these tomorrow, uh, but it actually turns out blue if it's the 24-hour curing agent. The like 30-minute one is like a red, and then the other is a yellow. So if you order it and it has a blue on it, do not get the blue unless you, you're patient and don't mind waiting. So 24 hours have passed. I've taken my pieces out of the molds. These aren't the cleanest molds. I wasn't really going for clean edges. I'm just doing this as a test tester piece and then if I like how it turns out I'll actually make take some time make some quality molds out of it. This one's didn't turn out too bad on the edges uh, but these two kind of got butchered on the sides but that doesn't really matter. So the two swords came out pretty clean. Uh, it actually captured a lot of the detail. I got a couple air bubbles on the grips because it was so small that it got a little bit of air bubbles but I'm not too worried about it. The actual shield part captured pretty much the same amount of detail like rebound 25 would I went ahead and molded the alien head part that goes on the top of the crest just did a two piece mold got the sniper shot entry wound on the skull so I'm gonna go melt some chocolate put some in the mold see how it turns out and uh, I'll be back this is one of the pieces I just took out of the freezer I filled with chocolate as part of the shield. It was originally this part before the chocolate, and then this is after the chocolate. Ah, after you melt the chocolate, in some of my other videos I show how to melt the chocolate uh, in a double boiler where you just put a pot, boil it with water, then you put a glass bowl over top of it and slowly melt the chocolate. I didn't really want to film myself doing that because I've done that in my other videos, but as you can see it releases very very easily from the mold even one handed without cracking it's thick enough to where it won't crack if it was any thinner it probably would uh, but it comes out captured a lot of the detail those little bumps on it I took clay and filled in the holes this is the original piece let me take it apart see all the holes from where the backs of like the alien skull and the swords go into I wanted to fill those with holes so that the silicone wouldn't fall inside of it anyway that's the original legendary crest it's kinda of messed up right now because I took it apart uh, I'll put that back together and this is completely edible it's food safe um, food, food grade silicone it melts uh, very fast when you touch it you can see it's already melting on my gloves. Uh, as soon as you take it out of the freezer, it's real sensitive to heat. So if you leave it on the counter for, you know, an hour or so, it'll get used to room temperature. And then you'll be more able to handle it and melt with it. So I took all the chocolate pieces out, took the sword pieces out, took the alien head out. This two-piece mold worked out really well, actually. So the finished product... Let me move this guy over to the finished product. I just had it on tin foil because it holds in the cold a little bit better. Um, this guy is the finished chocolate. Turned out pretty well. As you can see, the sword pieces. Sorry, it's kind of not very much light in here. I'm trying to be quiet because it's like 2 in the morning. Everyone's asleep. Um, the chocolate sword pieces are pretty thick compared to the other piece like I showed in one of the previous clips how thin the sword was so that's when my clay came into play where I rolled the clay out put the sword on top of it then took an exacto knife and cut around the edge of it so that it would be thicker in the mold and that it would hold together because that this would just be impossible impossible to mold in chocolate anyway Maybe if you're using like a polyurethane plastic, but for chocolate it'd be way too thin. Uh, so I made it thicker, 
and the swords. I just took some uh, a paintbrush, painted some little chocolate on, then I put underneath the swords. Are it's kind of blurry. It's hard to zoom in with the lighting in here. And then I put it in the fridge, let it cool off. Once the swords cooled off, then I took the alien skull and I put chocolate underneath that and then just attached it to the swords and it's really durable really sturdy uh, it's pretty thick I'm really happy with the way it turned out and these are actually food safe so unlike my other videos I can actually eat this I probably won't because I'll probably keep it in the freezer for a couple days and admire because it's my first piece and I kind of want to eat it but just to give you kind of an idea it actually got it got a lot of the details sorry it's kind of blurry right now it got a lot of the grooves on the sword handle got a lot of the cracks really, really well but I'm really happy with the way it turned out uh, let me know what you guys think